I just got home from work and I got ready to film. Cat was wanting to play. And we just chased each other around the house for like five minutes. And now she's winded. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the month again. No, not that time of the month. Well, actually. It's time for our February favorite. So you know the drill. I'm just going to go over my favorite things in, on, or about the month of February. I think you already know what number one is going to be, so we'll just get right into that. He's feeling a little feisty though, so let's see if he will let me pick him up. Obviously, my number one February favorite is little baby Kenobi. He was being pretty good right now for as ripper runner as he was. All right, down you go, baby. February will go down in history as the month of Jess became a crazy cat mom. I have loved every second of it. I was actually going to film this video much earlier and uh, the cat was just being really cute and snuggly and I couldn't get up or move. It just ruined my whole day. You were being so cute, you ruined my day. It has been a little bit of an adjustment. I'm now fighting with cat hair being all over the place. I never get a full night's sleep anymore without being woken up and I have a box of poop in my house now. Although I do keep it very clean, so don't judge. But this has been the greatest experience. I'm so in love with him. So yeah, this little baby has been the best thing about February. I love him so much. That's my best friend. My next February favorite is RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. I've been so excited for the season to come out and I just love Drag Race and everything it stands for and I could watch it over and over again. And I do, I watch each episode probably like four times before I actually delete it from the TV. You guys know I always like to include a makeup item in my favorites and I have a new one this time. This is the Master Chrome Highlighter by Maybelline. This is in the color Molten Rose Gold. It is beautiful. I have no highlighter on my face right now. Honestly, right now I look like I have no business telling you what to do with your makeup, but this is very pretty and soft and it's just beautiful without being like too, too much. It kind of just like melts into your skin really nicely and I think it's going to be especially pretty for spring and like spring colored makeup. My next February favorite is Black Panther. I've seen the movie twice now and I am obsessed with it. It was visually stunning. The story was so Shakespearean. It was surprisingly funny. I found myself laughing a fair amount during the movie, but it also had its very serious moments because the movie does have very serious messages behind it. I also left that theater feeling more empowered as a woman, I'm gonna say it, than I did watching Wonder Woman. The female characters in Black Panther just knocked my freaking socks off. I honestly believe that they are the stars of the show. And without them, I feel like T'Challa would not have accomplished half as much as he was able to. And this was just the most awesome feminist superhero movie I've seen in like forever. It was so good. My next February favorite is Trash Compactor Escape Funko Pop. Chad got this for me at Walmart. You guys know I only collect female characters and my largest sub collection of my lady collection is Princess Leia. And so Leia is a part of this. She does have a little imperfection in her eye, which is a bummer, but this is still really awesome. The exception of being at conventions, I never see a Leia Funko in the stores now that I don't already have. My next February favorite is Queer Eye. I didn't really watch Queer Eye for the Straight Guy so much when it was on TV, um, but I've burned through the whole season of Queer Eye on Netflix. I think it's really cool. It's not just for the Straight Guy anymore. Now all of the makeovers have been really different and really fun. I love the new guys. Pretty much every episode has made me cry. Without a doubt, every single episode has made me laugh. And I just really love the show and I can't wait for more episodes to come out. Has anybody else watched this yet? It's so good. And my last February favorite is this Ravenclaw fleece fabric. I got this at Joann's and I'm going to make a giant fleece tie blanket for myself out of it. They make this fabric for all of the Hogwarts houses. Full disclosure, it's expensive. And the licensed fabric usually is. And most of the time they have it on sale for like 25% off. So you can't use like the really good coupons on it. Um, so I never really wanted to buy it for myself, but my parents got me a Joann's gift card for Valentine's Day. I thought that would be the perfect excuse to finally splurge and get this for myself. I haven't made the blanket yet. I do have the other fabric here for it. I picked a light gray so you wouldn't see the white cat hair all over it because 
kitty snuggles are going to be inevitable in this thing. It's really nice, super cozy fabric. Been enjoying hugging it right now. Any excuse to show my Ravenclaw pride is a good one. So that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite things in, on, or about February are. With that being said, I am off. Subscribe if you'd like to keep hanging out. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you in another video. Bye.